everyone. Thanks for tuning in this week to the Michelle Valentine Show. I am Michelle Valentine and... Joseph Izquierdo. <laughs> All you ladies out there that just love these Latin men. Joe's a great guy. Right? Thank you. Thank you very much. We, had, we have a great show coming up. Yes, we do. We have a great yes, we show. Do. Uh, let's see. First thing, um, I had gone to the, to the grand opening party of Yuba Bar and Club in downtown Orlando on Church Street, and we had a great time. So we've Super got... Super romantic place. Romantic, Super romantic place. A lot of fun. It's great. Uh, we went there, and uh, we have a special guest today. Who? Who is that? Sue oh. Copany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she yes. has Orlando Business Connections. Connection. Orlando Connections. Orlando uh -huh. Connections, and she has a website. She has a bunch yes. of information for you folks yes. who are looking for a made action. Yes, and professionals. It's, professionals. It's a professional organization. Yeah, yes. link Very business good. with love. You know what's wrong yes. with that? Speaking of love, we have. Uh, we, we've been receiving some videos. People have been sending mm -hmm, us these videos mm -hmm. of the romantic videos, and we've been picking and choosing, and uh, we found this clip of the most romantic uh, proposal I've ever seen. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> I started crying when I saw this. I swear to God, I'm still, no, I'm really, sorry. he did. Sorry. <laughs> I did too, and the camera okay. guys and the whole thing. It is just the rom most romantic marriage proposal you can ever imagine. And she and did say uh, yes, by the way, which is a good thing. Yes. You know, well, he, did, he gave her this huge bouquet of roses. Why would she say How no? How she say Gosh, no? Gosh, and the I ring see. was just, you know, was... Was it a big whatever. rug? <laughs> I was busy looking at the flowers. <laughs> anyway, so that, we have our... Uh, Romantic video clip of the week, and uh, last but not least, we got two single least, gentlemen. Oh yeah! Oh yes! Yes, yes, These, yes We yes. have two gentlemen, two single gentlemen. One is uh, 26 years of age. One is 24. Gorgeous. Um, they're both just the most nicest guys. One guy's looking for an honest woman, True. and uh, the other guy, what was he looking for? Uh, just somebody fun that he could go out with. I oh, think, romantic, romantic dinner. Dan dinners. He was a dancer. He liked yeah. to dance. True. Now he was not a dancer, but he, he liked, liked to, dance. to dance. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so we have some great guys coming out. Great show. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love Eat Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation. Hello, Joseph and I are here with Sue Copening of, for, well, formerly of Sue's The Net. Now the business is called Orlando Connections. Mm -hmm. And you are a, let's see, a business and social networking organization, right? Absolutely. That's and, perfectly and correct. And somewhat of a singles organization, although you're not technically a singles organization, but when I've gone to your events, I've noticed there were a lot of uh, single people there. But tell us what your group is all about. Well, we are, as you said, a business networking uh -huh. and social organization, and we are very similar to a chamber of commerce. However, we're independent, um, and we do something very unique, and that is membership is free, by the way, in our organization. That's great. Because we do a weekly fax or email newsletter to our members. Mm -hmm. uh, we have almost 6,000 now in the Orlando area, mm -hmm. and we not only inform our members of our events for mm -hmm. our members, but of other events that they may be interested in. Right. Uh, business um, seminars, other business networking opportunities, social things like nice wine dinners at mm -hmm. restaurants, mm -hmm. charity galas, golf tournaments, etc. Mm -hmm. Anything our peers would be interested in, professional people. 
But these are not events that you promote yourself, right? These are events that are happening. And these are just events I mean. that are happening around town, absolutely, that people would be interested in going to. Now, I get your emails once a week, just about once a week, and then what, mm -hmm. th what they're like is you could see all these names who, it, who it's also mailed to, and, uh, and, it, and other companies can actually input their information so that if a restaurant or something has something going on, all of that information is inputted. So such and such restaurant is having the special dinner with wine for a special price, mm -hmm. or it has everything from uh, women's networking organizations to the Greater Chamber of Commerce to uh, singles events such si as yours. Singles events. Absolutely. My singles events are listed <laughs> on there as well, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's a in. So I'm sure people are wondering how do they get on your email list. She's, well, she's got this great list. The list, <laughs> the list is incredible. Oh, thank you. So thank how, you. how do they get on this all email they, list? All they really need to do is give me a call um, at 275-2956, mm -hmm. or they can sign on to our webpage, which is very easy to remember. It's orlandoconnections.com. Uh -huh. And by signing on to the webpage, they can email me directly through the webpage. Uh, we also have a conference room in there. We have places to post free advertising, classified mm -hmm. ads. Um, our personal ads and um, event advertising. So you have like a instantly. bulletin board. It's like, like it's a bulletin board, board system, mm -hmm. absolutely. So if your organization has an event coming up or you have a singles event coming up, you can actually go in and post it yourself and you'll see it instantly. Oh, very nice. That's now nice. you have this new website that you're building. I watched, I, I'm sorry, watched it. I viewed it recently, maybe a few weeks ago. It's, it's still kind of new right now. Or have you it's completed? still pretty new. We've only okay. had it up a few months, so we're okay. still, you know, evolving what we're going to be doing with uh -huh. it. But um, we're, we are going to be hosting more types of events in the coming year. Mm -hmm. We're really going to be mm -hmm. expanding. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to the networking events that we have for our own members, which happen pretty much on a monthly basis, sometimes more often, sometimes not, we're going to be branching out. We're going to be doing uh, more charity events. Uh, we're going to possibly, hopefully, maybe co-host some singles events with you. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Got to talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> now, wait a second. I, I heard something about something sneaky that you do so that people get oh. to socialize a little more. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Little absolutely. Well, that actually stems back from when I first moved to the Orlando area myself, being single and not knowing anybody. I used to go to the Chamber of Commerce mixers because I wanted to meet a peer. I wanted to meet, yeah. you know, someone that was a professional. Um, and, you know, I'd spend 20 minutes talking to some really great guy who was really interesting. He'd take a sip of his drink and I'd see the wedding ring. Ooh. And I'm like, oh, Ooh. <laughs> shot down again. Strike you know, two. Strike. That's where so, you say, can I have your business card and you walk away. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> nice meeting you. See you. Exactly. But the nice thing about uh, networking in a setting like that is that hopefully you made a good business contact even if you didn't make a social one. But I do a little sneaky thing at our, our uh, uh, networking mixers, and when people come and check in, I ask them if they're single or attached, and I give them a color-coded name badge. Okay. So it's a nice professional environment. People do bring their business cards. They do network, but you can stand there and scope out the entire room and see who's single. So it's color coding. You do it's some color. We color code. Okay. Absolutely. So it doesn't Absolutely. say anything as far as being attached. Or it no, does not it's just say that one has a red, maybe a red border and okay. one tag and maybe has a blue border. And um, our proportion actually, and I think this is really just because married people have other obligations, but for every hundred people that'll come to our mixers, about 90 of them will actually be single. Oh, wow. That's so a good number. we really don't get that many married people that come. And, you know, it's not that they're not interested in the business networking aspect of it, but, you know, they've got kids, dogs, dry cleaning to pick up, you know, kind of meet the spouse. <laughs> and it's usually at some sort of happy hour. Now, I went to the one you had at Art Cigars mm -hmm. on Orange Avenue. And it was wonderful. There were a lot of single people there that I have seen have that have come to my events, mm -hmm. and uh, they had a great time. Normally, um, the rate to get in is only like five dollars. Five dollars. You can't beat that. Standard. So it's a uh, happy hour, five dollars, and there's mm -hmm. usually some sort of drink specials going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Uh, sometimes there's hors d'oeuvres. Most uh, generally for the five dollars, mm -hmm. there's complimentary hors d'oeuvres, and, and most of the time there's a, a complimentary drink. That's for the five dollars. Right. I mean, and then after that, it's a cash bar. Right. right. Absolutely. Right. So. Now, uh, what do you do? You sense that people are more relaxed in these events than they would be if they go out to a nightclub to try to meet somebody? Well, I think so because you know you always had the excuse of being there for business. You know, it's a lot less pressure than going out to a club or a bar where you feel like. Tremendous pressure to be witty mm -hmm. and you know come up with a nice, clever thing to say. You know, so yes, I think uh, I think there's a lot less pressure on people. It is a more prof you know more professional environment to meet someone in. Okay, mm -hmm. we have a lot more to talk about with uh, Sue opening here. So join us in just a few minutes. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, 
romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about an upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Joseph and I are back here with Sue Copening of Orlando Connections, formerly of Sue's The Net. All right, she's going to give us some tips on how to make your relationship seeking venture somewhat of a business venture, right? <laughs> but first of all, I have, I have heard that someone actually, or two, well actually two people, got married through your organization. Is this true? Absolutely. How and did it happen? And give us all the details. Well, uh, the oddly enough, stuff. yeah, oddly <laughs> enough, it, it was a couple that met at the very first mixer we did up in Altamont. The oh. very first one you the ever did. The very first one wow. we did. They met at that That's mixer great. and uh, just, we had 250 people there, so I don't know how it happened, but I ended up actually sitting at the table with them oh. okay. toward the end of the <laughs> evening as people were kind of had pretty much left. Mm -hmm. So I got to meet both of them. And they just had a lot in common and both of them had been single for quite a while and they just met and just kind of happened like it does. When did they get you married? Know? Just recently? Uh, they got married actually that same year, about six wow. or nine months later. Wow, that's wonderful. And they made a point of calling me up and emailing me to tell me that they got married. And that's so wonderful. So that was wonderful. And the mixer that you were at, at Arts Cigars, uh -huh, uh -huh. there was a couple there that met that are still dating. That really? was several months ago. Really? And uh, one of my very good friends is now dating another of my very good friends. That is and wonderful. And they met at a mixer and it was one of those odd situations where you know, when you know a lot of people, your friends are always going, now, don't you know anybody great yeah. you can fix me up with? I know. Okay? Typical. And I hate doing that because Typical. I never know who's going to like who. You don't know what's that chemistry is going to be for dates, people. I, you know? I don't know. Blind dates are tricky at best. It's tricky. I mean, sometimes they work out great, and when they do, well, it's you fun. need to and take the chance. You well, take the chance. That's true. Chance. You got to take the chance. And that's kind of my philosophy is, and you got to work the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but play the odds. Exactly. Play the odds. But on the other hand, I don't want to be the bad guy if they have a horrible time. True, true. So both of them at various times had asked me, well, you know, don't you know anybody? And I'm like, you know, I know tons of great people, but I don't know who in particular you'd like. And then at this one mixer, all of a sudden, I just saw the two of them, and I'm like, bing, bing, you need to meet. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, and they're like all starry-eyed over each other. That's okay, nice. all right, tell everyone out Makes there. Makes me nauseous to be with them. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm wait a minute. So firstly, then you're single, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. okay. Take notes, there. guys. Yeah. She's single. She's got an email. Oh. She's got Everybody website. in town has my phone number. Oh. I didn't say that. <laughs> wait, you don't want to say that. Wait a minute. <laughs> If you call Orlando Connections, yeah, you'll get That's me. That's it. Website and everything. <laughs> Absolutely. That's great. Then. All right, give us some tips now. Give us some tips of what you have found out of how you need to take, um, you know, a relationship-seeking venture of how it correlates with a business-seeking relationship. You have to well, use a calculator for that? No, uh. actually, you know, a calculator doesn't hurt. Um, but this is someone, uh, something I learned from a very uh, type A personality woman I worked with. And she was single, and she had been wanting to be in a relationship for a long time. She was just at that point in her life. And, you know, as business people do, we read a lot of magazines yeah. and books and stuff on, on business philosophies. And all of a sudden, it occurred to her, she says, you know, why am I not applying all the business philosophies that I use out there in my sales career to finding a man? Okay? And any sales professional will tell you that closing a sale is a numbers game. Okay? It is. You make 100 phone calls to get 20 appointments, and out of those 20 appointments, maybe you'll close four sales. All percentages, okay? yeah. It's all percentages. So figure out what you're doing in your social life. Are you going to two events? How many mm -hmm. people are you talking at two exactly. at each event? Exactly. Are you letting people know that you are single? You know? A line like, yes, I'm happily single, but I'd like to be happily attached also. <laughs> that's always, that's always, always good. Helps, yeah. And they should make a goal that if they go Write to an event, down. Say, say, okay, this every event I go to, I'm going to meet at least five people and give at least five people my phone number. Mm -hmm. And and the more closer you get to wanting to find okay. somebody, up the numbers. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. ten people this time. So you're going there with <laughs> a bunch people. of cards. You go, pick Absolutely. a card, pick a card. <laughs> it's a numbers game, but the thing is, don't discriminate. Don't just give your phone numbers to members of the opposite sex. Meet True. people of the same right. sex. Because, right. you know, I have right. met more great men through 
couples that I knew that were married sure. or through girlfriends or male friends that are married and you know male friends are great to meet guys through because they're attached they can't go out with you but if they like you they always want to fix you up with one of their oh, buddies. That is true. That is you know, true. Absolutely. Is Nobody wants a good person to go to waste. <laughs> you know we all want to hook all of our friends up recycle. together. Recycle. Absolutely. Recycle. <laughs> recycle. And Orlando's a very small area and, yes. and, and after a while everyone starts to know everyone and then and then it becomes natural to go oh my gosh you are perfect for my friend so yeah. and so or or, or you're what you know so and so has been looking for and uh, it or happens. you're on the and they're like, do you know who's going out with who now? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I introduced them just last week at so and so's party. Okay, real quick about about the numbers. So you say you you write down how many places you go, how many people you're going to meet. Set a goal for yourself. Absolutely, Set a goal. absolutely. Okay. If you look at your social life for like the last month, and if what you did produced two dates, yeah. Okay, to produce four double your numbers. Mm -hmm. Go to twice as many events or go to the same number of events and talk to twice as many people. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 So just double those numbers and it'll, it'll filter out. It's true. They need to go to a lot of different events. Singles events, dances, business networkings, all it, exactly. quite a wide range. Don't just stick to one type of group because a lot of people will do that. They'll only go to dances or they'll only go to business functions and they really need to do a lot of different you things. You need to do a lot of different well, real things. Real quick, we're going to wrap up. Why don't you give them again your website address, phone number, all that good Anyone stuff. Anyone who would like to join Orlando Connections, it is free to be a member. Mm -hmm. We do a weekly newsletter or fax and email to join. Call us at 275-2956 or you may look at our webpage at orlandoconnections.com and email us through the webpage. Or you can email Sue personally. You can email Sue personally. Single. Send pictures Absolutely. please. <laughs> you want 8 by 10. Yes, photos. Ten photos. Ten photos. Are important. Graphics files are very important. Because yeah. you can see her now, but she can't see you. That's right. That's right. Um, and my email address is actually my last name, which is Copening, spelled like the word opening of the C of it, at GDI.net. Okay. Great. Okay. So. It was great having you on. Thank you very <laughs> much. Very nice. All right. Stay tuned. Upcoming next, uh, myself and our, another co-host. Also, we had gone out to the grand opening on, in downtown Church Street, and it is, it's at Yuba Bar and Grill, Yuba Bar and Club, is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we went to the grand opening party. We had a great time. So stay tuned to check out all the action. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. And this is our grand opening at Yuba Bar and Club. Like, I, like she said, we're located on Church Street above Mulvaney's. And we are probably the most upscale uh, club downtown. And we cater to a lot of upscale clientele, singles, um, professionals. Uh, they're looking to have uh, a nice environment to sit down and relax in, as well as some energy to socialize and mingle. And do you have this like little romantic fountain in the back? We have uh, we have billiards. We have uh, lots of nooks and crannies with eclectic couches and chairs, all antiques. We've got some champagne rooms to hold different amounts of people. We have an outside courtyard patio that has a water fountain and uh, stereo system outside that sounds pretty good. So we have all different kind of venues within it. We got about 8,000 square feet of intimacy and, and different places to explore and, and to hang out. Yeah. We have cocktails out plenty. We do a lot of martinis and champagnes, uh, wines by the glass, as well as the normal mixed drinks. Something for everybody. And I think that Case and I, we're going to find a cute little corner so we can show everyone out there that this is also a very romantic, intimate place. Well, I think you two could certainly show romance and intimacy. Okay, we'll, we'll find could. a location and we'll show everyone the, the romance and intimacy that is found at Yuba. <laughs> Any last words before we send you on?
on your way back. Send me. Back to the grand yeah, my, opening party. They're, they're... The, I, I, <laughs> I'm out of camel. I have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot. We're having a great time. Thanks. Thanks for Say showing bye. up. Say <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Well, ladies out there, we have a gem for you this week. We have two men coming up. One, we have Mike right now. We have another gentleman later on. That these guys are looking for love. <laughs> looking for love in all the right places. And this is the right place That's to right. look for it, right? So, Mike, this is the point where you get to tell all the ladies out in TV land what you're about. You're, you are 26. What else? I'm 26 years old, <clears throat> single, um, looking for an attractive, beautiful woman who uh, loves to go out and have a good time. What's um, your idea of a good time? Going to dinner, going for uh, walks, um, hanging out with each other, talking and uh, relaxing, um, maybe watching a movie or something like that. Okay. Um, what is your idea of a romantic dinner? Is it a uh, local pizzeria, or are we, are we talking? Uh, <laughs> Hot dogs. We're talking hamburgers. Are we talking hamburger. candlelit dinner or what? Yeah, you know, um, I like going to um, I don't know. I like going to Olive Garden uh -huh. restaurants like that, and, um, Red Lobster, um, things like that. To where you know, I think that's kind of romantic, sort of a dark, yeah, sort of a dark, a dark setting. Great. And stuff like you know, that. one thing that I think we're missing here in Orlando. I, I think that we do have them, but I haven't found one yet. What? It's a piano bar. You know those those bars where you have a piano player in the background, and you have those little tiny booths that are really really like hidden. Uh -huh. Those are those are really uh -huh. cool. Those uh -huh. are really cool. Mm -hmm. Do have you uh, do you do any sports anything like that? Is I work I work out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like to work out and uh, I like to go jogging, running, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we do have one of those clubs. Um, do you? Ha Howl at the moon. Oh, is, oh. Yeah, oh is, that place is, is so loud. That place is awesome. Well, it's is very it? loud. You know, you know what place? We just showed Yuba. We were just at Yuba Bar and, Cl Yuba Bar and Club. And uh, that's kind of, you know, they've got a piano there and it's dark and they serve dinner there. So uh, that is a nice place. So think of Yuba. Um, okay, we're going to wrap up. So what kind of a lady are you looking for? Um, affectionate? Affectionate, very affectionate. Uh -huh. um, I love a woman with short hair. Short sort of, hair. Sort of the demi, Ladies with short hair. Sort of the Demi Moore type. Uh, demi go. Moore, okay. Short hair. Uh -huh. um, Any color? Blondes, redheads, <coughs> brunettes? Blonde. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really. matter. Yeah. That's great. Great personality counts. That's great. So. Okay, ladies interested in our wonderful gentleman here, Mike. And we had a chance to talk to him before the show, and he really is a nice guy. So you can contact him through email and uh, email some info if you want. Send uh, a little letter and maybe even a photo of yourself pictures, to the pictures, address. Pictures. Send photos <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, send it to Mike. Bachelor and, uh, number one. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Listen to this. We have our upcoming romantic video clip of the week. And this was sent to us by two viewers of a romantic marriage proposal. You will not believe this. This brought a tear to everyone's oh eyes, including the camera guys and everyone else had a little tear in their eye. This is just the most amazing thing. So this is the romantic video clip of the week. And anyone out there, if you do have any, <laughs> you have any of your I'm own sorry. videos that you'd like to send in, send it in to us. And if we think it's great, you'll be the video clip of the week and you'll even win some great prizes because we picked you. So check it out. <laughs> You know what I mean? oh I can't imagine going another day in my life without you. I, I can't breathe if you're not by my side. Join the Michelle Valentine Show. You will love her new travel TV show, Love Eat Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn.
be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. And Michelle and I are back with bachelor number two, Mr. Jason. Woo! Jason, woo! Take it away, buddy. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself and, uh, and what you're looking for in that lady of your dreams. Um, I'm in financial services, and um, so I deal with a lot of people and help out with their finances and stuff. But um, as far as the dating, um, me and Michelle were talking about, the main problem I have is I want to find a woman that I can trust. If I find a woman that I can trust, that's probably the main thing I'm looking for. Of course, I have to be a little bit, you know, attracted to her, but um, if I just find a woman I can trust, someone that, you know, they say they're going to do something, they do it, they stick by what they say, they don't, you know, play the little games and all that kind of stuff. Sounds to me like you're a little sore there, pal. Exactly uh -oh. what, uh, what, what, what has little. happened uh -oh. here? This is some juicy stuff. I've definitely what, uh, had a few bad relationships, you know, uh -huh. and it, some of them dealt with, you know, old friends and stuff yeah. like that, but yeah. the main thing is, is trust for me. Yeah. Trust and honest good, just a good woman. Exactly. There's a lot of them out there. Where have you been meeting these women that you can't trust? Um, probably out in my college adventures. I don't know, I guess. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> you, I mean, if you're at a frat party or something, you got been drinking all night. Well, well, how honest of a woman do you think you're going to meet? I'm not talking about, you know, the, the drunken women at the party and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking you wait about, until the last minute of the party. I'm talking and, about uh, a good, wholesome woman, you know, that you, okay. meet, you, know, you meet through your friends or whatever. So when you find her, where are you, what are you going to, uh, where, are you, where are you going to take her? That's romantic. Um, you mean out on the town, something sure, like that? Sure, mm -hmm. sure. I don't know. I mean, I guess take her out to dinner and mm -hmm. then maybe go, I don't know, just spend time wherever she wants to. I mean, whatever makes her happy, I'm happy. It That's a really, good answer. It doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, as long as answer, yeah, it's answer, a good answer. Because answer. sometimes <laughs> when you take a lady out, uh, you normally force her to do what you think she would like you to do. Yeah. But it's, if you give her the choice, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You know, you let her decide whether she wants to go, yeah. you know, eat Chinese or Italian or a little Mexican <laughs> accent. Exactly. What about home cooking? Would you ever, like, cook dinner for her That's, with the I, candles? I would say that cooking for me would be more romantic, I would think. Yeah. Because uh -huh. I can cook, like, some good lasagna. There you go. I love just, like, cooking and just sitting around and being, like, with that person. Great. That would okay. be romantic to me. All and right, you get so to know each other a lot better that way. Oh, yeah. sure, sure, sure. So you're looking for a woman who's willing to eat your, la eat your lasagna, <laughs> who's honest, who will be honest if she likes your lasagna or not. And, uh, who's athletic. <laughs> athletic, athletic. Right. Okay. spontaneous. Spontaneous. And uh, just a good woman. So ladies out there, if you're interested, <laughs> contact them. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Jason. Uh, I hope you find the lady of your dreams, my friend. And I tell you one thing about honesty, mm -hmm. you have to, it's, it's not something that you can tell by just looking at somebody. It's something that they have to earn from you. It takes a long time. Yes. It takes a long time. But uh, I do believe that they're out there, so good luck. Right. Well, thank you. Well, this wraps it up for the Michelle Valentine Show this week. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed our bachelors and all the fun stuff that we had gone out to recently. <laughs> and uh, we had Sue Copening. We just had a really jam-packed show. Yeah, just we did. a jam-packed show. Yeah, we did. And uh, stay tuned again for next week. Again, send in your videos. Write to us. Email us. Uh, email us. Uh, keep everything going on. Keep in touch with us. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.